Welcome to another Z-Hut product review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Huion H610 graphics tablet. The Huion H610 has a working area of 10 inches by 6 and a quarter inches. It has a resolution of 4000 LPI, a report rate of 220 RPS, the pen has 2,048 levels of pressure, and the whole unit costs about $50 on eBay. Now in the box, of course, you get the tablet, you get the pen, pen holder, comes with a battery, there's four extra tips, which the bottom of the pen holder unscrews in there and there, and then it has the instruction manual and the drivers all on the same disc, and it comes with a USB cord, it plugs in right about here on the side, and I have the cord already hooked to the computer, so it's not over here, but I'm sure you all know what the USB cord looks like. Now, I've looked at several other reviews on YouTube, and a lot of people seem to be have, having trouble with the pressure sensitivity using this tablet in GIMP. The pressure sensitivity does work in GIMP, just not as good as in Photoshop or some of the other higher-end programs. But it does work, but there's a few things on how I'm going to show you on how to use it. Because if you just hook it up and start trying to draw, you probably are just going to get a steady line no matter how hard you push. So we'll bring this over, hook it up to the computer, and I'll see you there. Now that we have the graphics tablet hooked to the computer, Go under Edit, Input Devices, and then make sure your graphics tablet is listed here. If it's not, try reinstalling the drivers because something went wrong. So we'll tap on it, and as you see right here, it says Pressure 3. Now that's your levels of pressure sensitivity. Click on it, you can bring this up, and as you can see, You've got none, one, two, or three. Now, the pen does have 2,048 levels of pressure sensitivity. Unfortunately, GIMP only has three. Now, make sure your mode is set to screen. And make sure you don't have none selected. Make sure it is set at three. Save, close. Now here is another setting in your dynamics. We'll go with pencil generic first. And as you can see, I have sensitivity. The harder I push, the darker but unfortunately, there's only three levels. If you go and select some of the others, like pencil shader, yeah, that has the same effect. We'll try another one. Try basic simple. Well, that one seems to have the same effect. Try size opacity. There we go. Now we're getting a different effect. The harder I push on the pen, the narrower and darker it gets. Pencil generic. There we go. With this one, 
the harder you push, the wider it gets. As you can see, pressure sensitivity on the Huion H610 graphics tablet does work in GIMP. Just make sure you go and check the settings, and then also go in your dynamics, because if you have the wrong one selected, you might just get a solid, continuous, same size, no matter how hard you push. So to wrap this video up, I do recommend this tablet if you're getting started out with graphics. It is inexpensive for the quality. It does work very good. And if you're using Photoshop or some of the other higher end programs, the pressure sensitivity does work very well. But I do most of mine in GIMP. Three levels, it's still better than using the mouse. It could be better with any luck. The next GIMP upgrade will have more sensitivity. And matter of fact, if you got a few minutes, shoot GIMP an email and say, hey, add more sensitivity. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please click on the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good day.